back to English online class. So children, in today's class also, we will continue further exercise part of the lesson, the Turkish cat. So let's begin today's class. All of you, open your English textbook and open page number 18. Look at the highlighted words in these sentences. First one, Parish drew a circle. Second one, it should have been an easy catch. Third sentence, the man was furious. Fourth sentence, in Gilly Danda, the Danda is used to strike the Gilly as far as possible. We use a or an before singular nouns that can be counted. We use the before both singular and plural nouns to talk about something specific. So children, as you all know, we have already discussed about the article a, an and the in the previous classes. So tell me children, when we use a article? Yes, you are right. We use a article when the word begins with a consonant letter or consonant sound. And also we use a article before singular nouns. That beginning with the consonant sound. So children, when we use an article, yes, you are right. We use an article when the word begins with a oval letter and also we use an article before singular noun beginning with the oval sound. And we use the article before something or someone that we already know about. And also we use the article. And also we use the article for stating facts. So we use a or an article before singular nouns that can be Counting. We use the before both singular and plural nouns to talk about something specific. Okay children, now let us move towards the exercise part. Look at the board children. Exercise A. Pick the correct articles to complete these sentences. So children, here they have given two articles in a sentence. So, we have to tick the correct article to complete these sentences. So, the first sentence is Could you pass me the or a sugar please? So, tell me children, which article is suitable to this sentence? The or a Yes, you are right. The. Why children? Yes, you are right. Sugar is uncountable now. So, put it to the article the. Second sentence. The or a children play badminton for an or a Hour. So tell me children, which article is suitable to this sentence? The or A? Yes, you are right. The article. Why? Because the word children is plural now. So put it to the article the. The children played badminton for. So tell me, children, which one we have to pick here? An or a? Yes, you are right. An. So put it 
to the article A. Even though the word hour begins with the consonant letter H, but its pronunciation is oval sound. Hour. Third sentence. My sister studies in A or M university. So tell me children, which article is suitable to this sentence? A or M? Yes, you are right. A. Why? Even though the word university begins with the oval letter U, but its pronunciation begins with consonant sound. University. So, put it to the article A. Fourth one, it always rains here in the or A month of July. So, tell me children, which article is suitable to this sentence? The or A? Yes, you are right. The. So, put it to the article the. Fifth one. The or an cabin is located on A or the banks of A or an river. So, tell me children, which article we have to do here? The or an? Yes, you are right. The. So, put it to the article the. The cabin is located on. So, tell me children, which one is correct one here? A or the? Yes, you are right. The. So, Put it to the word article the of a or an. So tell me children which one is correct here? A or an? Yes, you are right. A. So put it to the article a. See you children. One more time I will repeat these sentences. First one. Could you pass me the sugar please? Second sentence. The children played badminton for an hour. Third sentence. My sister studies in a university. Fourth sentence. It always rains here. In the month of July. Fifth sentence. The cabin is located on the banks of a river. Okay children. Now let us move towards the next exercise part. That is exercise B. Circle the correct options to complete these sentences. So children, all of you open your English textbook and open page number 18. Look at the highlighted words in these sentences. So the first sentence is, There were many layers on the playground. Second sentence, there is not much space in the school compound. Countable nouns are things, people and places that we can count. For example, players, playground. We use words like a and the many before that. Uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count using numbers. For example, space, juice, water, milk. We use words like the much before them. Only countable nouns can be singular 
or plural so children as you all know we have already discussed about much and many about countable nouns and uncountable nouns in previous classes so tell me children when we use when we use many yes we use many before countable nouns and when we use much children yes you are right we use much before uncountable nouns okay children now let us move towards the exercise part so the first sentence is i have much or many friends in the neighborhood so tell me children which word is suitable to this sentence much or many yes you are right many why because friends friends is countable noun so put circle to the option many second one how much or many juice is left in the jar so tell me children which option is suitable to this sentence much or many yes you are right much why because juice is uncountable now so put circle to the option much
not much water left in the water. Okay children, it was all about today's class. Now let us move towards today's homework part. And today's homework is read and write today's class work one time. So children, you have to read and then you have to write these both parts in your homework notebook one time. And also solve these exercise parts in your textbook page number 18 and 19. Okay, children.